Hello, and welcome to a tutorial on how to use templates in Microsoft Word and Google Docs. We're going to be in Google Docs for this uh, tutorial. Your other assignment this week was in Microsoft Word. Um, and the first thing I want you to do is go to drive.google.com, go to your Google Drive, and you're just going to say new. Uh, cancel that. You're going to want to say new. I don't know what's going on here. Um, there we go. Uh, that was weird. So you want to say new and then go down to Google Docs, go to this little arrow here. Um, but you don't want to say blank document. You want to say from a template. There we go. Um, and these are templates. For those of you who don't know what a template is, it's something that is pre-formatted in Google Docs for you. Almost every Office product has a template. Uh, Microsoft PowerPoint and Google Slides come with templates. There are plenty of templates. We're going to revisit templates with Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel in a couple weeks here. Uh, but everything comes with templates. And these are just things that save you the work of having to format the document yourself. So we're going to do two of them. The first one you're going to do is one of these project proposals. Uh, you probably don't have them here. I have them here because I've done this before. But you want to scroll down here to work and you see a bunch of projects, well, three project proposals there. Um, and then the next one we're going to do is a business letter. If you are alone in your group, you just have to do the project proposal. So let's go ahead and click it. I'm just going to click this one because this is the one I like. Open image in new tab. By the way, you can find find plenty of other templates online. Templates are everywhere on the internet, so you can create a new template. Um, but right there, it shows you what it is um, and shows you the template. So I made a mistake there. So let's go down and I'm just going to click it. And then it's going to load it up for you. Um, notice that the formatting is what you want to keep, but the words all need to change. So when I grade this, if I see XX right here, I'm going to dock you down. If I see Ronnie Reader right here, all the text changes. You fill in the text, but the format's kind of nice. And uh, the other nice thing about these is you can play with the color schemes. So they gave you a cool format, but I can click Creative Director, and I can go up here, and I can make it green. Which, uh, which looks just as good, doesn't it? Um, so I can actually change your name. It's black right now. Uh, I can change it to kind of a nice blue. There you go. Uh, by the way, that needs to be your name there. Remember, you need to change every single little bit of text if you're going to get uh, credit. So right here should be your address, and you just type it in, right? Type in your address. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm going to say I live in Bellingham, Washington, just for fun. I don't know if that's their zip code, so change it, change the email, change everything. The date up here, you know, I'm just going to change that to 2020. We can also change the color of the line if we want. So if we go uh, right click here and say format, uh, where is it? There should be a format um, thing here. Uh, replace image, we don't want to do that. Oh, it, oh, interesting. It has it. So. Um, so yeah, we may not be able to change the color of the line there, but once you have your template, you know, uh, you change the text, but you can, and you could change colors, but the template's the same. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing this. So let's go to the other one now. Let's go to your project proposal. So once again, Google Docs from a template, and we're going to do this project proposal. Once again, they've given you the picture. They've given you everything. Uh, you just need to change this. And if you're doing this for the group project, here's where you need to tell me about your plan, your project. Here's where you need to sell your project to me. So I want you to pretend that you are selling um, that you are selling your business idea to me. Last week you brainstormed your business. Now you're selling it. So your company name should be here. If you, by the way, if you triple click, um, you get the whole thing. So my company names go before Grace Publishing. And then once again, make up an address there. My project name, let's say I'm pitching a new series of novels, right? So my project name is Sci-Fi Novel Series, right? Uh, once again, change the date there. Uh, give an overview, right? Delete all this. If I see any Latin, I'll mark you down. Uh, delete this. Give me an overview. Give me your goals of your business. Um, and then give me the specifications or how you're going to do it. Uh, you can also say not so much specifications, but uh, books in the series, if it's that or... Uh, if you're selling shoes, shoes, we are selling 
um, and list out your shoes down there. If you're, you know, whatever your project is, whatever your online business is, YouTube channel ideas, list out your ideas right there, whatever goals, you know, um, right here, we're going to say our goal is to make a lot of money or whatever. Just fill it in. Give me a few goals. Give me an overview. Once again, no Latin should be anywhere in this. It should all be you writing, telling me about your business. The goal of our business, the goal is to do this. But notice you already have a nice little template and you can still change colors if you want. So if I don't want that blue, if I want it to be gold, there we go. Looks actually pretty good gold. So there you go. That shouldn't take you too long to do. This tutorial was just five and a half minutes, almost six minutes long. Uh, so I look forward to seeing uh, how you use the templates. Um, so these are just templates to help you out. Uh, word of warning though, templates are easy to spot, all right? So I wouldn't use them too much or I'd highly edit them, but they are nice if you need to put together something professional looking really quickly. So if you have any questions, let me know. Good luck on your assignments.